Uhudu bilahi mena shaitan ar-rajim. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. I, since becoming Muslim, since making the shahada, I have had a lot of people tell me that I am wrong. That I need to turn to Christianity or I need to go to this church, talk to this pastor, listen to this priest, follow this particular saint or holy person. You know, we as people, as humans, want to put a lot of people, steps, things, and institutions between us and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We don't need to. One question I've always asked Christians is, is there anything God is not capable of doing? They ultimately answer no. And then when I say, well, then why do we as people have to attribute a son to God to perform a saving act that God, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala could do himself? They have no answer. I have an answer. And it's a simple one. And it's one that I live by. If we follow what is said in the Quran and the Hadith, our life will be easy. Our mind will be at peace. We will know joy because in Islam is peace. In Islam, we learn that if we take a step towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He's going to take a step towards us. Take that step. Take that first step. Whether you're a new Muslim, you've just reverted to Islam, or you've been Muslim your whole life, stop. Look at what you're doing. See what you're doing that is haram or makru, and remove one thing from your life this week that's wrong and include one new thing that's good. For example, every morning when I wake up, La ilaha illallah is what I say. Every morning when I wake up. Try that. But remember, if you just follow the Quran and the Hadith, and not listen to a million other people who say you have to listen to this priest, this pastor, this saint, this holy person. I promise you, life will be easier. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not give us more than we can handle. And when we turn to Him, He turns to us. When we take a step to Him, He takes a step towards us. Assalamu alaikum.